Hello guys and welcome to the One Motorhome channel. Uh, this is the channel where we try and find the perfect layout, the perfect van and basically the perfect design for you. Uh, today we've got a bit of a treat for you. Uh, this one's built by a German manufacturer called Cartago. Now I'm not sure if you've heard of those uh, but they are one of the leading brands in Europe. They are known for their quality. Uh, today's model is a Cartago Chic C-Line i 5.0 QBL. Now it's built on a Mercedes chassis, it's got a two litre, 170 brake horsepower turbo diesel engine, and it's actually got a fully automatic Mercedes gearbox. Uh, there's plenty I'm gonna show you, so follow me round and let's have a good look. So starting off on the front of the motorhome, as you can see, this vehicle has got the big star sign on the front. Obviously Mercedes Sprinter, gorgeous fans, one of the best chassis you can get for a motorhome. Uh, it's got daytime running lights and that huge grille on the front, so it makes it look fantastic. Uh, this one's a silver line, so it's got the lovely silver exterior color, and we've got those nice decals going all the way around the sides. Now, just on the side here, you'll notice we've got these huge bus mirrors, which give you a great vision all the way around. Obviously, this is get the entrance to the habitation, and this is also the passenger side. So if I pop that open, have a look down. So this is a little electric step, just to sort of show you how it works. Close the door, in it goes. Open the door, and it pops out. Perfection. There you fill up the diesel, so that's where your fuel cap is. And then underneath here, I've opened this up just so you can have a look you can see it is completely double floored underneath. Now, it's conveniently got lights under here so you can see what's going on and you've got lots and lots of storage in here as well. So that is very, very handy. Inside this one, just pop it up. You've got lots of storage for gas bottles so you can get two really nice sized gas bottles in there. And if you check these wheels out, look, they've got the Mercedes black alloy wheels really finishes this van off nicely actually. Um, it's got lovely decals around the side and as you can see there, chic C-line. Uh, so this is one of the top of the range and we've got a huge garage. But have a look in here. Again, this is all illuminated so you can see what's going on even of an evening in here. And obviously you can put your bikes in there, blow up uh, paddle boards, canoes, tables, chairs, whatever you might need. At the back of the vehicle, again, Mercedes uh, logo there with the chic C-line, Katago at the top, and then just above there, you can see it has got a reversing camera, uh, which I'll show you where the LCD screen for that is later on. Now, again, on the opposite side of the vehicle, you've got another entrance to the garage, so you can get to this from both sides. And um, we've got some nice nets here, actually, just to keep your uh, bits and bobs, any sort of cables and things like that. And also inside here, let's have a look. You've got three pin plug here and also a three pin plug there. So you can plug your, well, stereo or whatever you might want to plug into those. Um, this is the winder for the awning on the side. And we've got some nice elastic straps so we can secure things into the garage as well. Um, but let's close this up. Right, so just down here's where you plug into the electricity. Obviously, if you're on a campsite or if you're at home, you can charge the vehicle. And then just above the top there, if you have a look at that, we've got a huge aluminium Thule canopy up there. That is huge. Um, it's got a really nice LED strip light running all the way along that as well. So that will keep that area really nicely illuminated of an evening. Now, more storage. So underneath here, another little storage compartment. And then just to the right here, you'll see it has got an external barbecue point. So you can plug in a gas barbecue into here uh, and have that out underneath the canopy, uh, just relaxing. Now, this is the main habitation door. Again, you've got an electric step at the bottom here. And then just to the right of that, again, we've got more storage going all the way underneath here as well. And again, it's lit up so it's really well illuminated. Now, inside the habitation, let's have a look. So firstly, I'm just gonna point out that it has got fly screen on here to keep out the bugs and the mosquitoes. 
and then going inside let's have a look now look at this this is absolutely gorgeous it's got the ivory color leather uh, this table can move in all angles so we can move that around and then just above that this here is a drop down bed so it's a manual drop down bed what you do is you fold these seats forwards and then that will come right down but let me just quickly show you an image of that there we go i've folded it down for you so you can have a good look now obviously i've just done this quickly so i've just moved these chairs out of the way very quickly but they do turn all the way around and tuck away nicely the joy of this bed is actually you can be in there sleeping and your guests can still relax in the living area so it's very easy to use there's a little button just underneath here that you pull and then that just folds up out the way like that and clips into place up front we've got the mercedes-benz dash now obviously this has got the mbux which is around a 10.2 inch uh, touchscreen stereo with satellite navigation things like that this has got cruise control uh, climate control multifunctional steering wheel so you can adjust the volume answer telephone calls all sorts of things here and then just to the right hand side down here this is your lcd screen which gives you a live feed of what's going on behind you and that's linked directly to the reversing camera captain seats both sides and these do spin all the way around um and yeah really really comfortable seats leather arm rests on both sides and this van oozes quality but let's have a look at the living area so this is a four berth motorhome so it sleeps four and travels four you've got two forward facing seats here both with seat belts obviously with three point harnesses and then this cushion here at the back moves out of the way this cushion moves and then obviously you get two really comfortable forward facing seats which are great for traveling just in the living area just to show you a good image of it very very comfortable everyone can sit around this table very comfortably actually and like i say the quality is second to none it's absolutely fantastic you've got a retractable television here so this will go down and just live inside the sofa um, just above that there's a little cupboard in here which has got some of your tv gubbins and also some more storage round to the left hand side let's just move round again we've got lots of storage in here underneath we've got your light switches where you can control the lights for the living area and really it's just a gorgeous place to be really it is um, obviously you've got blackout blinds all the way around on this vehicle so all the windows even all around the front here have got concertina blinds for privacy and then just above my head it's got a huge skylight again that's got blackout blind and a mosquito net just above the habitation door we've got the control panel so this is where you turn everything on and off you can have your stereo on whilst you're stationary you can check out how much water's on board and all that sort of stuff uh, this is your heating control panel so you can basically adjust all your heating um, and it's a true blown air system and then this one is for your inverter so this vehicle actually comes with an inverter as well which means you can use your three pin plugs whilst you're stationary without being plugged in in the kitchen area we've got a nice size oven also lots of drawers let's see if we can get in and have a look so that will be for all your cutlery moving along let's have a look in here again big drawer space there try and pop this one open and a big cupboard underneath there as well just the left hand side just to show you this oven really nice size oven and then just above that we've got three gas burners so we can do lots of cooking in here no problem at all underneath here you've obviously got your sink and this vehicle of course has hot and cold running water and you can extend the tap out if you need to wash that all down which is very clever just behind all that we've got a little coffee machine and then just up top again more storage and um, just to the left hand side here nice little touch actually look at that it's got the c for katago um, let's have a look in here but you've got a little rack for keeping wine bottles and things like that 
and also a little cover up on the top there as well um, but yeah all in all great great space here we've got a nice size fridge and that's a three-way fridge so that will run from gas electric or the leisure battery just above we've got a nice size freezer as well and these can open both ways so if you're in the kitchen you'd open it this way if you're in the living area you do that way and the same with the fridge below you can open it both ways just to the right hand side of that we've got nice rack for keeping all your spices your baked beans and things like that and then moving on a little bit let's have a look this is your bedroom now inside here you've got a queen bed which is a monstrous bed and this is an island bed which you can gain and access to from both sides so you've got little steps either side you can just go up and then you pop uh, to the left hand side you've got a wardrobe for hanging all your clothes cupboard space up on the top and then on the right again another uh, wardrobe for hanging clothes this one comes with a flat screen tv in the bedroom area and let me just pop this off so you unhook that pull this round there we go and you can completely close this off let me see if i can do this there we go so this can be completely closed off and made private in this bedroom so it's very very comfortable actually it feels like almost as though you're in a yacht or something like that it's absolutely gorgeous um, but let's go and have a look at the toilet and shower so in this van you have a separate tap shower and toilet so this is the separate shower really nice size so you can quite easily bend over in there and get washed without any problems at all got a little space here for keeping shower gels and things like that and it has got a um a window above here as well so you can open that up and they've even give you a little pole on here actually so if you wanted to hang a wet coat or something you can do that no problem at all um, to the right hand side let me just open this up for you this is where the toilet is so in here we've got lots of nice little cupboards for keeping things this is let me just open this up for you there we go you can keep your toiletries and things like that in there your aftershave and perfumes um, i have to say it's very nicely lit have a look at that you almost feel like a superstar looking in those mirrors uh, electric flush toilet below, uh, below and you've got a tap here with a soap dispenser and his and hers uh, toothbrush holders just beneath that let's have a look in here a little cupboard that's where you keep your toilet roll and you've got a little basket for keeping the extra toilet roll or towels and things like that um god it's absolutely gorgeous this van i have to say one thing i'll point out is you can keep this completely separate from the living area so you can open this little door here let's see if i can do that so that you can close that there whilst you're in the toilet you can pull that across so people can't see inside and obviously this makes this into an ensuite very clever and then obviously through here again back into the living area and walking through um, but let's give you a few of the details of this van so what do you think so far this is an absolutely gorgeous Katago, isn't it now just to run through a few of the specifications first of all the size now this vehicle is around 7.8 meters in length so it's not huge but yet it feels very spacious inside it's four berth with four traveling seat belts. Now obviously you've got that huge double bed over the cab and that big queen bed in the rear. Now to give you the dimensions of those beds, the rear bed is around two meters in length by around 1.5 meters in width. So that is a very, very nice size bed. The fold down bed over the cab is again around two meters in length and around 1.6 meters in width. So again, massive bed it's got huge water tanks on this 170 liters fresh 170 liters waste and this particular van has also got two leisure batteries and of course you've got a vehicle battery as well 
One thing I didn't mention as I was going through this is it has got sort of like an underfloor heating in this. So even when you're walking along in here, your feet are going to be nice and toasty. And obviously this is a complete double floored vehicle as well. So you've got lots of storage uh, underneath. There are some extras here as well. So of course this comes with the super package, the multimedia package, including the navigation and dab radio, uh, Mercedes Benz driving assistance package, uh, the coffee package, which is obviously the coffee machine. And of course, we've got the 1800 watt inverter as well. Uh, in the living area, we've got a 32 inch television and in the bedroom, a 24 inch uh, television as well. It's also got the upgraded black 16 inch alloy wheels, uh, the Truma Combi 6E gas oven with grill function. Uh, it's got aluminium roof awning frame with LED light strip. Uh, carpets for both the living area and the driving cab and the ivory leather interior. So this was the One Motome channel showing you yet another beautiful layout. Uh, I hope this van is the perfect one for you. It's certainly almost there with me. It's absolutely gorgeous. Um, like I say, it oozes quality. Now we've got lots of videos coming up. Uh, more Catalgo, Swifts, Hillsides. Uh, auto sleepers, chassons, the list goes on and on and on. Uh, so if you would like to get notifications to see when these videos are coming up, then hit the subscribe button. It's free of charge. So subscribe to the channel, press the little bell icon, which will give you notifications of when I post these videos. And of course, press the thumbs up on the video and leave comments below. Um, if you put comments below, I'll try my best to answer them. So if you've got any technical questions and things like that, then do do that. Uh, my name's Jonathan. I hope you've enjoyed this. Take care, guys, and I'll see you soon.